Hello, chaps, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. This is the third time that I have tried to start, fourth time that I've tried to start this recording. The first time, I could have sworn I hit the start recording button and didn't. And then two times after that, there have been these weird graphical glitches, and then I just tried to load the game again, and it fucking gave me this weird, like, in-game notification that my graphics card needed to be updated. And I'm vaguely aware that glitchiness is part of this game's theme so i don't know if i'm like getting the game experience while simply trying to log into the game if it is that's like incredibly deep and weird and confusing but i can't think of what else it would be like my graphics cards are fine this game is not like a big difficult game to run i don't know why i'd be telling me to update my graphics card anyways we're on episode four this has been super weird i really hope this recording actually fucking records correctly so we can continue with our playthrough all right chaps let's jump jump right into it okay everything seems to be working we are going to now try to write this poem for the third time so i'm gonna do this quickly because i've been doing this a lot lately apparently um, we're gonna go with cheer. I like cheer and beauty. Oh, I'm all about beauty and vibrant things of a vibrant nature. I love vibrantness and happiness. I'm all about that happiness. Vivacious? I don't know what vivacious means. I, I can't honestly pick vivacious if I don't know what it means. Uh, music, though. Who doesn't like music? And, uh, uh rainbows? No, I'm not, I'm not super about rainbows, not gonna lie. Uh, jumping, though, you, you really can't go wrong with jumping. It, it, it feels good to jump. It feels joyful to jump, even. We'll start with J. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no G's in there. I know how to spell. I know how to spell. Why would you even think I wouldn't? Uh, boop. Boop. That's just plain adorable. Of course I'm going to pick boop. And uh, explosion or starscape? Because I kind of like both. We're going to go with starscape. Because why the fuck not? We can pick whatever we want. And wonderful, because who doesn't like things that are wonderful? And, 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 and dazzle? No, I don't know about dazzle. Crimson? Defeat? I'm, ooh, this is tough. This is, a, this, this is a tough one. Number 11. How about dazzle? That, that's what jumped out at me. I, li I like to dazzle. Anime. Boom. So down for anime. All about that in my poetry. I'd write a poem about anime. Come at me, bro. I love chocolate. So we're going to go with chocolate. Chocolate and marshmallows. Let's make some s'mores up in here. Do we have graham crackers as an option here? No. How about peace, embrace, romance? Oh, I like all of these things. Let's go with world peace, because that's always a popular decision. Uh, games. Games, I'm all about that. Suicide? Suicide was an option. That's fucking dark. Ooh, raindrops and clouds. I love clouds. Clouds are so good. I like it when it's not too hot out, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so much better when it's just balmy. Uh, laughter, because who couldn't use more laughter in their daily life? And more skirts, honestly. I never see skirts. Nobody wears skirts anymore, yo. What's that about, ladies? Get on it. <laughs> and, uh, passion, to finish it all off with passion, because I'm all passionate about passion. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Wolfcore. What up, Sayori? Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Eh, hee 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 hee. Oh god, I gotta work on that laugh. That's terrible. I'm just, I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we talk? Uh, take a look at your purse, Sayori. Does the chat looks like like it's running? It's like choppy. That's weird. Eh? Why that all of a sudden? What the fuck? Why is the chat? Mm, this game is messing with me. No reason, really. Oh, fucking triggered. I don't like it. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. 
Oh god, you guys see that, right? The way the chat isn't smooth? That's driving me crazy. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Ah, uh, I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. <laughs> and so that only leaves the one option. Detective Wolf Gore on the case. What? I give up. Oh, thank God, the chat is fixed. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> so bad at that. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell Wolf Gore to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can re responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. Retribution. Da -da -da. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... <laughs> I really like when you speak with your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. <laughs> That's... <laughs> There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution? Retribution. That! Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but... You wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh? Wap! What the fuck? What the fuck is happening to the game? The game is breaking, guys. Wap! Yeah! What the... What is happening? Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! It's Natsuki! What was... Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. It's... Is this a miracle? <laughs> It's because I paid my re res uh, resist restitution. I know how to read. Fucking don't judge me. Don't judge me. Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I knew it was Natsuki. Fucking called it. She's pretty cute. Ah, I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Siri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Siri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mmm. Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Aww. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. <clears throat> Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Siri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori. <coughs> Off of her. <clears throat> um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? Uh-huh. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyways? Ugh, my mustache is driving me crazy. 
I need to trim that. It's like down to here. It's so annoying. Where's Monica? Anyways, good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Oh, ha ha ha. I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chews the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. She likes me. She likes me. What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool! Also, well, I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Wolfgore. Monica smiles sweetly. Ha, <laughs> I don't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not not really. Just some cookie antics. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Oh my god, my mustache. Is I even waxed it so that this wouldn't happen. But it's just drooping down into my mouth while I'm trying to talk. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. What are you doing in the closet, silly? That's for brooms. Wolfgore! Wolfgore! Sayori suddenly comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Want to come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Me and Monica were gonna make some posters and stuff, so I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going with Wolfgore to get the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Aw, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. Hehe, <laughs> okay, okay. I, it was just a suggestion. See if you can find poster paper too, okay? Okay. Ready, Wolfgore? Yep, let's go. Sayori and I exit the club room. I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking a kid to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in the simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for the festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're going to do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage and recite their favorite poems. Ah, that sounds kind of dull. Wolfgore, you're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poem, like, Between my feet... The last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what end have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once pro prosperous, well, the once prosperous field before me 
is but a barren wasteland. And scene! Scene! Oh. We're not doing a jump cut? Okay. Dot dot dot. Like that. Sayori, how do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk like that. Aww. You meanie. I'm working super hard on this, you know. Aw, I know, I know. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited! That was a weird way to word that, or vocalize that. Yeah. The festival is going to be so much fun. Sayori spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Wolfgore, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission. The mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feel for me. Feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hole myself up in my room more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings me about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. The two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see what we have in here. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. Only Sayori would know what the best brand of crayons is. Is it Crayola? Is it Crayola? They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, we still need to find... Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color. Fine, fine. Then at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, I dropped one by accident. Smack! Aw. Yeah! Sayori bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. Oh, Sayori! She falls to the floor and the crayons spill all over her lap. Ow, 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 ow. You okay? My forehead. Sayori clutches her forehead. Geez, Sayori. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Sayori is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You had to move your hands, Sayori. You have to move your hands, Sayori. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead. I gently brush her bangs to the side. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. <laughs> There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I should find you some ice. Wolfgore? Where would I even find ice around this time? I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Even wincing from the pain, Sayori makes a silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. I pat Sayori on the shoulder and run out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it will be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayori likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. Nice. I ju in just a moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back into the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I spilled them. Sayori, here! I hand Sayori the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Sayori opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Sayori, what are you doing? <laughs> it's for your forehead, idiot! Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard do you did you hit your head? Siri places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. It it'll feel better soon. Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Hey Wolfgore, this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh, what do you mean? You know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like, I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't, I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump, and I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. 
you would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah. You don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. If I was, wasn't was rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. Wolfgore, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. D don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of thing at all. Uh, all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I even knew it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you're, you've are you been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Wolfgore, I'm so glad that nothing's changed between us. Do you think it'll be like this forever? Forever? <laughs> if I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where we'll each end up for college or after that. So it wouldn't be fair for me to make any promises. But, well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Good luck with that. <laughs> She's gonna see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. Oh, clever. Well, I'm going to call that a successful mission. We've been recording about 20 minutes, guys. We're going to find out what happens next on Doki Doki Literature Club. It's starting to get a little weird. It's starting to get a little weird. There's like weird little graphical glitchy things going on, and it's freaking me out a little bit. But the game is still adorable, and I'm still enjoying it. So please like the video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it, and it does help my channel grow. Leave me comments, because I love your comments. Leave me comments about waifus or anime or fucking anything. And uh, I love your faces, beard heart, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time for episode 5 of Doki Doki Literature Club. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.